Hey everyone, it's Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use a green or a blue screen on your PlayStation 5 when you're recording video or live streaming. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So it makes your live streams look a lot more professional when you're using a green or a blue screen on your PlayStation 5 when you're on Twitch or YouTube. So some things to take in consideration when you're using a green or a blue screen is the light pattern across your room. So I have a window right here to my left. And as you can see, the light is far brighter on the left side versus the right side. So this may cause you some problems where only one side of the screen is actually getting cut out. So what you may want to do is turn your green screen like this. So it's fully illuminated by the light. Now across my blue screen here, you can see it's an even light level across. Now if you're looking to get a green screen or a blue screen, this is a collapsible one that I got for about 30 bucks. Then the stand I believe was about $15 as well from Amazon. So if you're not wanting to use it, you can just store it or put it away. And then here is the green side of it. Another thing you need to take in consideration is what you're wearing. So if you are wearing any kind of blue or green, your PlayStation 5's camera is going to go ahead and cut that out. So you're going to look like you're invisible in some areas. As well as your chair. So I have this really cool gaming chair, the S Racer chair. It has these blue areas on it. And these blue areas will get cut out and it will look really weird. So I kind of like the chairs without a large backrest or where your head is, because then your entire shoulder area will be cut out and you won't see your chair at all. Now let's go over to my PlayStation 5 and I'll show you how to enable the green screen effect, the chroma key on your live streams. On the home screen of the PlayStation 5, let's go up to settings and select this and then scroll down until you see captures and broadcast, the last option, select this. Then go down to broadcast and then go over to camera. Select this option. Now, to enable the green screen effect, scroll down until you see clip masking right here. So this is what it looks like when it's selected to none. You can see my green screen in the background. It's far brighter over here versus over here. Now, let's go down to chroma key and select this option. Boom. The chroma key is now on. Everything in the background is cut out. I will have to go ahead and put some blinds on my window to cut out the light a little bit. Now you do have the option right here called level. You can use blue or green screen to remove your background. Adjust the chroma key level to match the brightness of your room. So let's try to use this. Now it kind of helped, but it cut out a lot of my hat. There's my head. So you'll have to play around with this to get it exactly how the light level in your room is. And a lot of times it'll cut your entire body out. You can kind of see in my chair in the background, it's going to go ahead and cut it out sometimes. Boom, it just cut it out. Also go down to like flip horizontal if you're streaming. If the brightness, you can edit the brightness, but this isn't going to affect your green screen or blue screen effect at all. It'll just make it a little bit brighter or darker. Then once you get your camera adjusted and in the position that you want, make sure you go to focus on your face or refocus on your face. So now when you go ahead and start your live stream, everything will be set up for you. This is how your camera will look. And all you have to do is set the position where you want it for the overlay and you'll be good to go. So if this video did indeed help you guys, I'll go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 5 tech up videos coming up next on your six studios.